What's up, man? Hey, how are you? You have mm -hmm. a good weekend? I'm all right. Yeah. What'd you do? Uh, family stuff on Saturday. Ooh. And then Sunday, I'm trying to have barbecue, and I went and just drank. You got any booze on you right now, actually? Let me see my duffel. Uh, I found some, actually. Oh, man, that is stiff. Yeah, it's peach schnapps. That was early, man. No, I drank all day. I'm uh, still a little drunk from yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Oh, how are you? How's your wife? Uh, you know, she's fine. I was, uh, I took a, had a little fun uh, weekend myself. Oh, did you? Yeah, I took the baby, dropped him off at my parents' house, and I went to Vegas. Oh, nice. And, uh, let's just say I didn't sleep a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You got laid? Did I get laid? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of question is that? Oh, I found yeah. With my daughter is, you take them to supermarkets? I've never had eight prostitutes in a room at one time. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. That's beautiful, man. Yeah. You take, I take Lily to, uh, I take my daughter to uh, a laundromat mm -hmm. or a supermarket, and there's mm -hmm. lots of moms there. Right. And you can leave them, and someone will always take care of them. And that's what I did yesterday. That's a great, I've never, I, I haven't thought about that. There's tons of moms there. So yesterday I just ate in the morning, dropped her off at a laundromat. Hey, did I tell you I test drove a Maserati? Oh my last God. Week? No, you didn't tell me that. How was and it? I wrecked it. And I just left it. <laughs> and, uh, but that's, you know, that's where I am right now. I can do that stuff. And it's not a big deal. You know what's weird? I've had a boner for like seven straight hours. I'm like hard right now. It won't go away. It's like the weirdest <laughs> thing. I kind of like it. I gotta be honest, I don't mind it. I started so working out with this trainer who uh, literally suggested that I start doing steroids. And I said, are you, are you being serious right now? Is this a joke? And I'm doing them, and I love it. Really? I'm, I'm injecting them four times a day. It does, you look good. You look yeah. bigger, but you look bloated. It's like a weird bigger. It doesn't look healthy. Well, I got to admit, I didn't sit down with him to see properly Ooh. how to do it. Yeah. Ooh, I that just is injected a right into my thigh. My thigh. Look at that. Yep. That's well, the size of a pumpkin, that bruise. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Look at that. Let me just touch a little bit. Ah! <laughs> ah! Man, god damn. I'm gonna get that looked at. Oh. Remind me to get that looked at. Why is this thing playing? I think they run oh, through the whole movie. Oh. I'm guessing. I've never done this, but I think they run, they play the whole movie. Mm -hmm. And then we do the commentary. Is that how it works? I don't know. I don't know. I've never done one. you never done one either? I thought it's... you did one. No. For uh, old school? No. No? Oh, wait, we did do. Yeah. Did you? We did one. But I think they lost the track. Oh, oh, oh. So. Uh, you know, yeah. These things are bullshit anyway, these commentaries. Total bullshit. I know, everyone acts like Does that. anyone ever listen to them? I don't think Have so. Have you ever listened to one? Not ever. Really? No. Why would you? It's like listen. you watch the movie, It's things happen, you respond to it, and then you're done. I listened to the one on uh, Camelot. Oh, was that good? The soundtrack. There's a commentary, the original musical Camelot. Well, that could be interesting. I like that uh, the one with uh, Charlie Sheen, that Men at Work. Oh, uh, right, the 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 trash can guy. Yeah, the, I watched the that. Garbage man? That's I was wrong. That's the only commentary I watched that commentary many many times. Right. Well, you know, the, I have those guys. We let rent the guest house, the carriage house behind our uh -huh. house, and they uh, yeah. they make crystal meth. When they sell it out of there, and I'm cool with it. I don't care. Right. The rent. No, I'm cool. I'm totally cool with it. Totally cool with it. By the way, we've never. I'm just to let you know. I'm totally cool with that. And uh, <laughs> why? Did just you, as a friend. Why did you say you're totally cool with it again? I just want you to know that I'm totally cool. Oh, I'm the same way. Crystal meth production. And here's the thing: they throw me some every now and then. So I've been up. Like last month, I was up for 14 straight days. Uh, finally, I had a heart attack because the only way I went to sleep, and. I'll just do crystal meth and I'll watch right. the com I'll listen to the commentary for minute work over and over again. I listen to the commentary for minute work for five straight days. Did you get that dark gun I sent you? <laughs> the scuba. You know, the so funny. I had no idea you sent yeah. that to me. That oh, was gorgeous. Yeah. That was With the so pearl handle. Oh my god, I have loved that thing. And did you get the the, the Teflon coated spears? I certainly did. Yeah, you know, I've been nice? um, Oh, I've been yeah, shooting nice. neighborhood dogs with it. Yeah. I'm just having a blast. Just when you, the, when you said the crystal, when you're standing up for 14 straight days. Well, that's what I did. The, the uh, spear gun. For about 37 straight hours, I drove around <laughs> in my car shooting neighborhood dogs, and when I came yeah. home, it was all over the local news. Did I tell you I was in jail for a month? You didn't tell me that. Yeah. What happened? This is what happened. Um, I tried to, I tried to smuggle some drugs on a domestic flight. 
<laughs> why, why would you do that? I just, you know, that's not the, you're supposed to take it internationally. Or I, I, I just had like two, uh, like a hefty bag full of weed, and I packed it in a duffel bag. Oh. Uh, and I just, you know, my buddy. Oh yeah, Mark. Yeah, I don't. You know, I'm not a fan of Marks. And he was just like, I bet you can't smuggle that onto a domestic. I go, do you know who I am? I'm the elf, okay? Yeah. I'm the elf. I, I hate I'm the guy from old school. I can smuggle weed on a, you know? Yeah. No, I got busted. And they, they, they let me go. I'm on a, a, a release program right now, but... You're doing good though overall, man. I mean, this movie did well for you, and you had the, you're the elf. I, Is it the elf or elf? It's the elf. Okay, yeah. I was, I was getting They would drop it the el and just call it elf because it's just. But it's properly it's the, the elf. elf. Yeah. yeah. Well, the elf performed really well and. Performed really well. Are you are you fucking high? It, it was a it was a blockbuster. All right. Well, I was just saying what it did good. What planet are you on? I just said it did good. I wasn't. Two twenty five in the mill. Two twenty five mil worldwide. Oh, worldwide. Does yeah. that. What do you mean, did it do well? You know what, I was already saying it did well. Don't get mad at me. I'm acknowledging that that movie did extremely well. You know, read your variety. Get informed if you're going to be in this biz. I just, I'm not saying that. I'm not mad at you right now. Well, you sound like you are. No, I'm just saying as a friend, get informed. Read the trades. You know? All right, you know what? I heard you. Buy some billboard space on Sunset Boulevard if you can. Well, for yeah, what? Just occasionally. Put your face. Get your face out there. You know? I well, anyway, I'm just happy things are going well. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm happy. The, the elf did great. I'm, I'm ecstatic. The anchorman performed really well. The elf. No, it's just old school, right? There's no way that's the old school. It is the old school. It is. Mm -hmm. So you always like a the before your movie. Yeah, I've had. I've been into three court battles to change to legally change the name, put the the in front of the titles. Huh. Things haven't. Uh, you know, I have this movie idea. You get my messages. I've been trying to pitch you forever. Yeah, I know. I, my my phone machine's busted. What do you mean? It's just busted. Um, How about we, your career? Well, you know, I did I did the Anchorman, yeah. and uh, I'll be honest, things have slowed down quite a bit. Really? Yeah, quite a bit. Mm. Uh, Sharon and I just moved over into the valley. We're in. Uh, have you heard of that place, the Dustwind, the apartment sure. complex over Dust there? Wind, we yeah. got a one bedroom over there, right. and her mom's living with what us. Was it like four twenty five a month? Yeah, four twenty five a month, and. Uh, her mom's living with you? Her mom's living with us, mm -hmm. and, you know, obviously we got the kids. And, and the cats. It's tight. Well, the cats, I mean, they really take the bedroom. So it's uh, it's been rough. But I have this idea. I'm excited. I, I, I didn't know your phone was busted. Did you get that license, by the way? Yeah. Uh, for, I, for the tiger? I, I did. the tiger in the apartment? I did. I, well, I didn't tell them it was for a tiger. I got a license to operate uh, carnival equipment. Oh. I don't know. You know what? I what went, you, but you still have that tiger, that, the tiger in your apartment. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we have him. Huh. He's in the kitchen. Huh. It's great. We laid down a shower curtain. We put one of those baby fences, you know, in the front of it, which I'll be oh, honest, he can, get, yeah, he can yeah. get through it pretty easily. Oh, yeah. Well, and, it's a 500-pound Bengal tiger. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just laughing because the other day I woke up and I was hungover, and sure enough, he got out. He got past the baby gate because he's a 500-pound Bengal tiger. Right. And he's just looking at me. Right. And he's just, he's just, I'm in the bathroom naked, and he's just there, and he came at me. It's a real moment, isn't it? It's a real where, moment. Where you feel like you're being hunted. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> he, it's funny to think about. Well, what was funny was uh, he did. He, he jumped on me. And uh, yeah, you can sounds... see. Look at my arm right yeah, there. No, I, mean, I, I keep it covered up now because it ain't pretty. Uh, what he no, did those are it. open wounds. Yeah. Oh, this one right here, I yeah. haven't... Well, I can't afford to go to the hospital, so I, this one's just open. I'm just going with it. I'm just seeing what... Yeah, you kind of want to get that sutured up. It's sort of... Do you... You guys know Excuse that we're me. recording. We're recording now, right? What? what are you talking about? No, no, you guys are running through the movie, and then we you, you play it again, right? And we do our commentary. Uh, I don't know. I thought they explained it to you before. They did. There was the three beeps and the headphones, and then this is. Uh, is this a joke? No, this... but we could just rewind it and start over. I, I just. Oh, you know, no, 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 I thought Hal uh, told you that they did the three beeps and then you say I'm Ad McKay. Hey, 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 don't you know argue what? with him. No one told me that. If someone told me that, then we wouldn't have done it. We're sitting here talking about our personal lives and it's on the thing. We're not rewinding. We got to get out of here. Hal didn't tell us about Hal didn't the three tell beeps. A squat, okay? Well, it's not hard to start over and we could record. No, what? we're not going to start over. That's ridiculous. We're it, professionals and we're just going to get through this. It is hard to leave here at one o'clock in the afternoon when you're supposed to leave at twelve o'clock. I can't believe this. Oh man, do this we is unbelievable. Do we say anything bad? 
This is unbelievable. Tell Al thanks a lot. Well, guys, seriously, we can just edit it. It's not a big deal. We'll just <sighs> it, no, no, no. No, we're not going to edit it. We're going to keep going. Where are we now? Oh, guys, man. Guys, we can edit it. Stiller re-edited and re-recorded Polly like you know four what? times. We don't, we don't care. Yeah, we I'm don't, not, do I look like Ben Stiller? Does he look like Ben Stiller? He's the elf. You know what? Just it's go. okay. Go, 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 go. Just, 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 just go. Just go. Just go. Tell Al thanks a lot. Thanks a lot! Thanks a lot, Al! I want to be on you. God damn it! Wait. Wait, oh wait, man! Wait. Oh, I talked about the guys with crystal meth no, in my no, backyard. No, 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 just, just, just. You talked about the eight prostitutes. <sighs> hi, I'm, uh, I'm Will Ferrell. I, uh, hi, I'm Adam McKay, the director of Anchorman. Um, this is the commentary for the DVD. And we're, we're really glad you could be with us. Um, and where are we? You know, I, uh, you know, I don't. Uh, you know, I'm not going to lie when I say that Anchorman was a real labor of love for us. We worked very hard, and uh, um, I think we're very proud of what's on the screen here. Well, there's a, the term, and I didn't know it because it was my first movie, but they call yeah. it a passion project, right. I guess, is the term they use in the industry. It's called a passion project. And this was really <laughs> bad. I mean, this was... And where we are right now, we actually had some technical problems, and so uh, we're not going to really go over it, but we're right now, we're at a real pivotal point in the film. Uh... One of my character, Ron Burgundy, uh, uh, comes home after a fun night of of carousing and has mm -hmm. an interesting conversation with his with his dog Baxter. <laughs> and um, we it was some, a, a wonderfully trained dog. Well, we had some crazy episodes on the yeah. set with this dog, yeah. trying to get him to bark and stand there, and uh, I don't know, crazy or not. But there was a couple takes where he didn't right. bark when we wanted him right. to, and we all just laughed. Yeah. It was uh, it was one of those. What, how did you shoot this? Do you want to describe how you shot this scene? We used a, uh, a, a 34, it's a Dutch lens, 34mm uh, Dutch lens, mm -hmm. and it's a beautiful lens. It's a real yeah. honey of a lens. No, it gets, I saw it. gets you right in there, and it's a ruby casing, mm -hmm. and we actually used it on this scene right here. Oh, uh, look at it. Yeah, yeah it you, really can, pops. you can really see it. It really pops. It's called a, it's called a Mahler lens, mm -hmm. and there's only like six of them in the world. Was that was that a, a did you have to pull out of strings to 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 get that lens? Oh, yeah. yeah, well, it's because of its size and weight. It's technically classified as a firearm. Uh, it's a weird technicality. Mm -hmm. So to transport it across uh, international borders, you have to have a, a team of four people with it. Wow. So it actually uh, cost a pretty penny. I don't, wow. I don't know if you're allowed to say budgetary things, but it cost four hundred eighty thousand uh, dollars. Really? Just for that one day of shooting. Yeah. Well, it sure shows. Uh, it's, it, you know. I would have paid it out of my own pocket, yeah. to be honest. We, yeah. we started using another yeah. lens, and it looked like Well, I just remember uh, when Polaroid. we started test screening the, the film, oh. and uh, <laughs> the first time you showed that scene, the audience literally went, Oh, my God! Oh, uh, it was the greatest. It looks so beautiful! It was total vindication, yeah. and we got all the comment cards back, and about, I, I'm going to say literally out of an audience of 300, mm -hmm. 40 people asked if we were using the Maha mm -hmm. lens on that. And it's one of those things that people won't notice, people won't notice. You know what? They notice. It's great with... Um, with, and I think with the advent of DVD, how how much more knowledgeable the film the film the moviegoer is, and to have yep. distinct knowledge of lenses, like absolutely, that, it really makes making that choice a lot easier. Well, I, I'd say without exaggeration, there were six applause breaks in this movie just because of how beautiful something was shot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, when we brought in the Langostino lens in the end, yeah. it pretty much carried our whole sure. ending. Sure. Sure. Though this is uh, the scene right before Christina. Her character Veronica comes in. Okay. Keeping that in mind, I'd like to introduce the latest addition to the KVWN news team. Yeah, this was Christina's KVWN intro. YPN this, uh, of course, is Fred Willard, uh, Chris Monica Parnell, uh, and there's there Christina is. Applegate. Christina Applegate. She looks great in, uh, in, in what would that be? Purple? Or yes. Hey guys. Hey. Oh hey. Oh, is what this are you guys doing? Good. Is this the Clueless? Hi. Um, um, is that Chris? Oh, wow, no. we're just joined by Andy Richter and uh, and Kyle Gass. What a hey. What's up, man? What how a are pleasure. You? Hi, guys. How, how, yeah, how are you guys good doing? To see you. Good to see you too. Yeah, I was uh, I was down the str uh, down the hall. We were doing a a, a Nutrislim uh, voiceover. Uh huh. And we heard you guys were in here. Oh, doing welcome. The... Yeah, we're just. What are you doing? Are you doing, doing the a commentary on Anchorman? Boy Oh yeah, I yeah. heard this so yeah. funny, you guys. I heard it's yeah, really I've good. Yeah, it's really good too. I haven't seen it yet. You guys should see it. Definitely. Is it a period yeah. piece? Because it looks like the. 
It's kind of vaguely 70s, 60s. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. early yeah, 70s. I read this. I read. The, I don't know if you remember, but I, I auditioned. I, I auditioned. Yeah, you had yeah. a really funny audition, yeah. Yeah, I kind of figured... Yeah. I mean, first of all, I didn't... I mean, I was surprised that I had to audition. And then, uh, I mean, double surprised that I, I didn't get a part in a movie. Well, you know, it was... As you can see, we cast a lot of our friends are in it, like Dave Koechner and... Yeah, that's Lennon. what I'm getting at. You and I... How long have we known each other? God, we've probably known each other 10, 12 years. Yeah, we like saw. Oh, is this the. Jack had a cameo on this. Did he? Everybody had cameos, didn't they? Well, a lot of people. Like yeah, every right. male in Hollywood yeah. that you guys knew, yeah. right? Didn't you call in all your favors? Called in all your. Yeah. All your chicks. I mean, we. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys. Um, you know, we're. I don't know if it was favorite. You know, we just. You just try to cast the movie, and you, you know how it goes. I mean, yeah. we'll, we'll all do movies together in the future and stuff. Right. And you guys did Elf with Will. Yeah, that, we were great. We you, guys were, was, you guys were really great. We were the guys. Yeah, and you Elf. guys were the, well, the, the writer. The guy, guys. He was like guy one, yeah, and yeah. I was yeah. guy two. Remember and the asparagus? Was fucking remember funny. Remember the asparagus thing, and it was really funny. Hey. It was no, crazy. it's just. Come on. Come on. I just thought that funny. we. I thought that we'd really uh, started something with Elf, and I, and and I I felt like. You know, yeah, we're going to be like, what, what was the, why, why, couldn't we just, why couldn't you just throw us a bone and just put us in it? Mary like? Band or something, you know? Is it like, what, you know, we, what, what, we're not funny enough for the thing? You're going to have to ask Adam. This is kind of in history. Adam, is this about the D thing I, because we didn't hire you for the stupid I, I really movie? Did want, oh, I really did want Your stuff was it's, funny. It was just disjointed. I didn't, I couldn't follow it. It just wasn't look, right for I, the project. I wanted you guys in the movie. I really did. Don't do this, Will. I kept telling Adam. We should get the because we're kind of a team now from Elf. I said the same thing well, we're, to Adam. All right, it's not a big deal. It's I just know. That, I just didn't would think you'd want know, like comedians in the movie, not yeah. people like, like Paul Rudd. Yeah, he's Paul. about as fucking funny as you know all my children. I mean, it's like a soap star. Can or I tell you? Uh, you first off, just as actors, and you guys know this, this yeah. isn't cool. I mean, like yeah. you, you can't audition in like your this. work for a lot of things, and you end up doing roles, and you don't do roles. But to come in and like. What are you, my father? Yeah. Look, what are you, my dad? I'm so sorry, Whatever. dad, for my inappropriate behavior. I'm hey. a goddamn grown up. Andy. And I'm pissed. Andy, come on. That's yeah. That's not cool. That's not yeah. cool. I had to go. You go spend a month and a half with the goddamn got Olsen twins in Toronto. Listen. That's what I had to well, do. Get a manager. That was my sloppy second. Make a proper career so. move, then, Andy. Paul Rudd. You shouldn't have left the show. Paul, anyway. look at him. What? Ah, looking trouble. You know, oh, is that followed. a fake mustache? Why am I Paul? here? Why not? It's actually big? a real mustache. Oh, did he grow it? For, oh, wow, commitment. Wow, that is. Wow, that's a real Guys, fucking this is, really this good. is shoddy. This, this is, is just really. It really is. Whatever. Oh, sorry. Slamming oh, is that Vince Vaughn? Is he playing himself again? Did you guys get him to play himself again? Oh, come on. Come on. Whatever. Look, you guys are funny. You know we. Forget it. Wait, hold on. Swingers 2 coming up. Okay. Funny, Vince. No. Funny. Oh, Please. he's mad now. Oh, what? Please. No, I, I just thought it'd be fun if we could do it. I thought we had a great time on the Elf. Yeah. And and it's no, just there's like, no yeah, denying that the Elf that, that the Elf was a special. You experience. guys were hilarious in the Elf. I mean, no one. And I mean, I I was a chance to star with uh, James Franciscus, which I've always wanted. No wait. J James Con. James. Right. I thought it was James Franciscus, wasn't it? No, it was, was no, it was James Conn. It was James. He was. That was uh, James Conn. He, he, he was the one that was in Rosemary's Baby. No, 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 no. That was for sure. It was Cass James. James Conn. Is he still alive? Is he? Jimmy Conn. Who was yeah. Carmine yeah. on Laverne and Shirley? Oh yeah, yeah. Is that what I'm doing? Am I confusing him with? No, he. Yeah, yeah no. That I think that guy really is Italian. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Yes. Oh, who's this? Who's? This is uh, this is Paul Rudd. Oh, hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. What's up? It's Adam. Hey, Adam, how are you? Hey, Paul, it's Will. Hi, Will. Hey. Good to, good to talk to you. Yeah. Uh, who are those other jokers you got in there, uh, in that studio that I've been listening to? Really funny. Uh, a, little, a little too long. Really funny, Paul. Um, Paul, this is Adam again. Uh, the, there's Paul, no one else other than just me and Will. <laughs> Come on! It's Andy Richter, Paul. It's, it's not, Andy uh, Richter. Yeah. It's me again. It's, it's Kyle, Kyle Gass. Gass is here, too. Uh, Andy Richter, he's, he's, uh, yeah, he's great. Andy, were you... You were the one that was questioning my my mustache, right? Or was that was that Kyle? Is that Kyle also? That, I believe that's it was Kyle. Kyle. Yeah, hey, that Paul. was totally Kyle. Paul, Paul. That is so I would cool. never do that. Did you really grow that for the movie? It looks yeah, yeah. so good. Oh, it really like, good. oh, I get it. So you're you're interested now? <laughs> yeah, no, I I I did. I did. That's a, that's what I do. I mean, you I, know what? It's a I'm funny an look. There's um, this is you know, really that's ugly. Why I got cast. Uh, 
I don't know. I don't know why. Uh, Were you busy uh, today and you I mean, couldn't come in? Obviously, Andy, uh, you know, Adam hasn't, hasn't, you know, seen your work on quintuplets. And, um, oh, man. You know what? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Guys. And Kyle, as for you, I, I, it, I don't know. I, they obviously hadn't seen your, your um, scene lit. I don't want to say scene, it, like a scene it, from uh, scene lit in, uh, in, in Saving Silverman. That was... Uh, that was really, really okay. Nice. They did say they, I kind of stole the movie with, in that with, one. With, uh, with, with Thank you, Paul. Hey, I, I'm sorry, Paul. I didn't insult your career, but I'm not at home in my underwear in front of IMDb.com. Wow. So I can't you know what, look guys, up this your. This is just you really know, unnecessary. You've you really, you really nailed me, uh, Andy, because that's what you that you need to get on IMDb.com to actually see what you've you've been in. All right. No, Guys, there's all right. like uh, there there's like you know, two first of all, websites <laughs> devoted to some of the stuff that I've done, and uh, some oh, other stuff man. too. I just I'm a little upset. I, I don't I, you know I know that that, that uh, we all. Paul, we're sorry you had to hear this. It was we didn't know these guys were coming. I thought we were I thought we we were friends. I did grow a mustache. I did audition for the for the movie. I did Pippin at the Round Wharf uh, ten years ago, and I've been struggling and working. Really well, hard. Paul, you don't, don't have to do this. Crying. You don't even have to do this. You yeah. don't have to defend yourself. You don't have to at all. These guys were on the attack and unfairly. Got, hey, got, Paul, no, no, you're no, in the no, movie. I don't, I, don't, I don't mean to sound short or flippant or, 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 or uh, you know, t t insult those other guys that are in there. It's just, it, it, it hurts. Yeah. So it's, it, doesn't, yeah. it doesn't have to hurt that much. They're just... Right, we're bitter. We're, we're bitter. The commentary. They want to see like well, how it goes. They want to hear yeah. what's going on with the actors. And, like, Absolutely. Oh, fun time making that scene. Uh, you know, Steve Carell uh, laughed so hard he thing came out of his nose. But they yeah. get this, and this yeah. is not what people no. spend no. a lot of money. And if Will and I didn't have to get out of here real fast, we would back up and redo this. Yeah. Uh, well, we don't have the time. You. I mean, you really... No, we don't have the time. We're watching your Sex Panther scene right now with the cologne, and uh, oh, it's it's yeah, it's doing yeah. great. <laughs> yeah, we had fun making that scene. You know, the sideburns do look awesome. That's yeah. nice, man. They really. Do. I'm serious about that, and I, I'm. That's I'm nice, sorry that's a, about. That's a nice gesture. Is that the chick from Married with Children? She's hot. You know what, guys? Maybe you guys she should leave. Hot. Uh, yeah. Did you get in on some of that? Did you get on that? Maybe Apology that should get accepted. out of here. Thank what are you, you talking Paul? about? Oh, so now we're not in the movie, and now we can't even well, be in your stupid yeah, little commentary right. to well, sell your stupid movie? Well, it was never You're not making intended. enough money, Will? You know what, man? Huh? Get out. Is that hey, sir. Hey, Kyle. Is this going to be on Kyle. inside the get out. Hey, you get out. Oh, you know what? Go back to SNL, you, you know failure. Come lie. on, man. Let me man. call up. I make a lot of money. I'm not going to lie. I make a lot of money. No. Ow. Ow. Get out. I hate you. Get him out of here. Career's over. Oh my God, Paul! Uh, you would not believe uh, your, uh, your nose is just bleeding. Uh, it's gushing. That's like weird blue blood coming uh, out of your nose. Uh, that's, that's like brain blood coming yeah, out of his nose. That's fluid. Should I, that's cranial Should fluid. Should I go too? Now? Let's get out. Oh, I'm sorry. I did. Let's stay in here. One it. more for you. Oh, yeah, it's cranial fluid. Real second rate, guys. Real second rate. It's yeah. bush, is what it is. Yeah, bush league wait. stuff. Can't wait for Anchorman Part Two. Seriously, guys. It's actually kind of a cool idea. If that the if French that, thing, or if the beach volleyball thing pans out, let me know. Really? All right. I'm starting right. to taste metal. I'm starting to taste just a little bit of metal. Man, that is weird blood. Let's take a break. That was. I mean, I'm a little. I'm a little shocked. I just even over the phone. I haven't. I haven't heard an argument like that since the commentary for kissing Jessica Stein. Paul, ah. Paul, we may need to take an affidavit from you because I was assaulted, and although you didn't hear it or uh, see it, you did hear it. There'll I, be a guy coming by your house tomorrow to depose you. I, uh, Wow. Uh, I can't oh, wow. I can't stand up. Just stuff it up with uh, paper or something. Uh, yeah. You know what he did? I realized he had like the tip mm. of his finger whacked the tip of your nose. He got like so much torque on it. Because that is yeah, like he a. really got up in there. That is a deep red blood coming uh, out now. I've never seen blood like that. Oh, it hurts so bad. Oh, oh. wow. Oh, it's oh, all over shirt. your shirt. Yeah, that's a this nice shirt. This is a $1,000 shirt, too. Oh, what? Really? Oh. This looks like a t shirt. Oh, oh man. That was, those guys were... Have you ever seen anything like that before? I've never seen anything like that. I, I just, to behave like that. I'm, there's no way I'd want to work with them again. I mean, Kyle, never. just his hand was like a blur when he hit you. How many times he hit you like five times in like three seconds? It was so quick. You know, when, when we run into them again, it's going to be just awkward and weird and... 
I'm just gonna play it off like everything's cool and nice, but in the back of my mind, like there's no way yeah. I'm ever doing anything socially or No, anything. I'll never bring it up again. I'll be totally cool too, but maybe with Rector, but Kyle, after what he Oh look at that, man. There's like pieces of something in that <sighs> blood. That's cartilage. Do you know what cartilage looks like? I've never seen it not I'm, connected I'm, to the body. I bet you it's cartilage. I think he I think he like pulverized the cartilage in your nose or something. Uh, There's just hunks of it coming out. Oh. Oh man, your nose is like collapsing. Yeah. <laughs> There's yeah, like, it's collapsing. There's like no structure to it now. Uh, Looks like I, I use bloody condom on the front of your face. Or I hate to say we should stop the tape, but maybe we should just stop the tape. I really want to finish this. Though. I want to knock this off. Okay. And let's just finish this All break. Right. Let's just finish this break. Okay. Uh, put... Finish up. Do another section. Take another break. And then let's just get out of here. Uh, if I pass out, though, I'll cover you. You know you. why. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh man, you know your pupils are weird too. They're like pinpoints. Really? And all the whites in your eyes are just red. It's like there's no white. I can't focus on anything right now. Really? I think you have a concussion. I think your brain might have hit hit against your skull or something. You know, you I mean, have he, to keep me awake. He hit you so hard. You have I, to keep me awake. How do you handle a head wound? I think you're supposed to eat and sleep when you have a head wound. Is that it? All right, take a nice nap. Here, you know what? Uh, eat this. Don't let me fall asleep. Here's some of that. I have this cheese sandwich. Eat if some I of this. I have a concussion. Don't let me fall asleep. Is your stomach sore? Uh, Come on, have a nice nap. Uh, Go to sleep. No, don't let me fall asleep. Go to sleep. Why are you doing this? So you sleep. have a head wound. Uh, Go to sleep. I'm letting him. Shh, I'm letting him sleep. In the back. He has a head wound. Uh, uh, uh. Did you let me fall asleep? Yeah, yeah. I said Why did you do that? Have, you we think I might have a concussion. I think you're supposed to sleep when you have a head wound. No, you're supposed to keep me awake. I could never... There's a chance I would never wake up again. Do you realize that? I don't think so, man. I think when you have a head wound, you're supposed to... Isn't the expression, if you have a head wound, right to bed, sleep tight, everything will be all right? Isn't that like an old saying? I've never heard that. It's the old one, yeah. too. More than eight drinks... I don't drinks, think so. Less than eight drinks, don't drive your car. Uh, More than eight drinks, drive so far. Have you ever heard that? Mm -mm. If you have a handgun and children in the house, keep the handgun quiet underneath, as a mouse. Like quiet, quiet as, as a mouse, mouse yeah. and underneath the coffee yeah. table that, for all to see. That one's standard. That one I've heard before. You have heard that yeah, before. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, should we go back to doing this thing? I just want to finish it. I really just want to get out of here. Believe me, I want to get out of here more than anyone. All right, Ugh. I'll go tell him to start running again. And uh, have you been to uh, have you been to the river before? What do you mean? Out to the river, Colorado River. You know, little jet ski, little 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 fun in the sun. No, no. Why are you are you doing that? That's where I that's where I'm going next. Oh, you're going there next? Yeah. Oh. I'm going in 20 minutes. Oh man, I think we got more of the movie left well, than that. Well, I'm going in 20 minutes. I get in a helicopter and I fly out to the Don't river. Don't do that. Don't do that. You're doing so, the commentary. Just finish it. So you go, quote unquote. I'll be doing the commentary from the inside of my helicopter. That's impossible with the noise and everything. Because that's the way I do it now, and it feels good. Man, it feels good. To you just... took that helicopter everywhere. Yeah. I saw that when I was at your house too. You have just a crew uh -huh. on standby. The the helicopter is always idling. Yeah, and it's not cheap. You have the Actually, helicopter idling all night long while you're asleep. I have it. I have it uh, not only is it idling, it's it's hovering uh, about a foot and a half off the ground. Uh, at all the times, clock, around the clock. Why is that? that Just so I can be ready at a moment's notice to go anywhere. Man. man. But that's where I am right now in my life, and it feels wow. good. Wow. Wow. How much? Did, I mean, it's uh, we're not doing the commentary. How much? Did yeah. it, how much you make last year? How much did I make? Yeah. No, there's no way that's Nine. Nine, maybe ten. Ten mil? Is that what you're talking, ten mil? No, no, no. I made nine thousand a month. Nine or ten thousand a month. So you made like a hundred thousand dollars last year? I don't know. I'm not a mathematician. That's not that. That's a lot of money for most it's people. It's a lot of money. Don't but it's surprisingly low. I thought you were going to say nine or ten million. Well, you know what? Let's go back to this. <clears throat> All right. Okay. <sighs> well, May I take your order? you'll have yes. to. Going to have, uh, three of this is uh, Adam McKay, the director of Anchorman. And I'm uh, Will Farrell, the uh, star and also the co writer 
we just want to welcome you back. And of course, uh, right now we're joined by none other than Mr. Lou Rawls. Hello, I'm Lou Rawls. Lou? And I'm still trying to figure out what I'm doing here. Well, I think Adam says it best. Mm. I, I just think you're Lou Rawls. I think there's mm. no way the second we knew we were doing a commentary, the first thing we said was we have to get Lou Rawls here. Really? We wanted it to sound professional and right. Oh, well. So, thank well, you for, for joining us. No, thank you for inviting me. Yeah. Yeah, so, so far, how's it going? Well, uh, we've had some r rough moments. We have, yeah. to be honest. To be honest with you, mm. Lou. Yeah. Um, uh, some people came in and didn't really behave quite well, and uh, there's been a lot of rough moments. It hasn't gone well at all. And one to ten, I give it about a two. Whoa. Yeah. Well, uh, so we're hoping you can kind of right the ship, Lou, if you could help us oh, out I here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, uh, is this like uh, 70s, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. cool. Does, uh, does this harken back any memories for you, Lou? Mm -hmm. Well, early morning radio. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> I guess you could say it's kind of uh, tongue in cheek. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like to think it's a little more serious than that, but I mean, well, I, I don't want to get into splitting hairs. Hmm. I call it, a, I always refer to it as a docudrama. Do docudrama? Yeah. <laughs> Lou, why are you okay. laughing? Well, because I'm trying to figure this one out. Oh, My character yeah. plays a little jazz flute here. Oh. Mm hmm. Huh? You know, we almost had a Hubert Laws. Uh, we actually met with him to do this flute solo. Oh yeah. We went and hung out with him for an afternoon. Oh. Had a glass of wine with him and his uh, his cousin over at his house, and uh, mm. never quite happened. But did you drink too much wine? We drank. I, I had too much wine. I don't I don't hold my liquor well. <laughs> he doesn't. No. He doesn't. No. Oh. I do though. Mm -hmm. So anytime you want to share a bottle of wine, Lou. Oh yeah. All right. Call me up. I got you. Did you? Did you ever play any instruments, Lou? No, actually, no. I I, I made a, a attempt at piano, but it didn't get very far. All right. Hmm. So I just uh, I have a piano. Oh, it's beautiful. What I've do you always, think? I've always wanted to play banjo. Really? But that's just me. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. What do you think the most beautiful instrument is? The voice. The human voice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. See, I think it's the wah wah pedal. <laughs> no wah wah pedal. I mean, I don't know if that's really an no. instrument, but I don't what, think it is actually. Okay, well then yeah. a guitar with a wah wah effect on it, I would say, is the most beautiful. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that. Or the CB? Does that count as an instrument? CB mm. radio. CB radio that truckers use? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that's an no. Instrument. no okay. No, that's not quite an instrument. Although mm -hmm. some of those guys out there in those trucks, boy, they really got it going on. Oh yeah. Yeah, man. Talking about what's your twenty? Sure. You know? What's your twenty? Uh, yeah. Hang ten. No, yeah. that's not it. No, not hang ten. That's uh, ten four. Yeah, ten double four. play. No, ten four, good buddy. That's yeah. what it's <laughs> double play. And you struck him out. No, oh, that's baseball. Thank you. I don't know. I'm just trying to. You're, you're Lou Rawls. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're Lou you Rawls. Know, well, yes. So now, Lou, this are you currently? Uh, are you currently touring? Or are you always? Are you always touring? Oh yeah, I'm always on tour. You know, it's. Uh, I consider that a blessing, cause uh, you're saying you still do 200 dates a year. Just about. Close that's a, to that's it. great. Close to it. Do you remember uh, Lou the age of the leather-backed uh, chairs, oh, the leather-backed booth? The booth. Oh man, listen. When I first came down, I went to uh, Brown Derby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, and that was I went there, and they had the, the booths, and they were saying, well, you know, Clark Gable sat in this booth, and, and, then, and I'm standing there looking around. And then they said, and over there, Frank Sinatra, that was his booth. I oh. said, right, so I went over and sit down and rub myself around in there. <laughs> <laughs> See if it rub off. <laughs> well, I think it did. Yeah. yeah, I got lucky. Brown Derby doesn't, does it exist anymore? I don't think it does. No. They knocked that oh, down? It's really? a parking lot. Oh, jeez. Musso yeah. and Frank's. That place has red leather booths still, mm, I think. It's got maybe one or two, because... Yeah. But were there uh, were there women as beautiful as that on the road when you were uh, as beautiful as Christina when you were out touring around? Probably. Yeah, they probably were. You didn't get to see them too much. No. No. Was it crazy? Is it crazy on the road? I mean, is it? Do you have like fans and groupies and? 
Well, you have fans. Uh, the, the groupie days are still. That's for the, you know, the younger newcomers. You know? I see. But uh, you have fans that have stuck with you for over the years. But as far as the groupie thing, it's not so much groupies now because they don't got too old to be groupies. I see. You know? I see. When you were coming up, though, was it crazy? Did you have the women waiting outside the dressing room and the? Mm, well, the places I was working in, they didn't have outside dressing rooms because you usually had to dress in the men's room. Oh, jeez! <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, wow. Yeah. hey, you know, this small joint. Yeah. These little small yeah. joints. Yeah. Where the stage was about five feet, you know. But and so you didn't big really... enough to barely fit your band on there. Right. Yeah. Well, sometimes your band had to play on the side of the stage because there wasn't. No or sometimes room. the band had to play in the bathroom. <laughs> well. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it was weird, but it was fun, you know. You know, Lou actually will. One thing he's very shy and he yeah. won't brag about himself, but he's uh, considers himself a master of scat. I don't know if you've ever heard this about him. He's done it on TV a few times. Really? And, yeah, he's. I don't pretty, know if I'd well, say I'm a master. He's hmm. pretty darn good. Uh, I've heard him do it before, and he's pretty amazing. I mean, do you scat? I mean, I'd love yeah, to hear well, you guys straight off, or yeah. Well, we did. I did. I did some for the first time on the album. I just I cut. I did an album called Raw Sing Sinatra. Yeah. And I did uh, that song, you know, the song Ladies of Tramp. Sure. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, Ella Fitzgerald, man. She, oh, she's she was the queen. Yeah. You know? And for some reason, I don't know why, I was standing there in the studio and when the instrumental solo started, I just started doing it. And I said, whoa, wait a minute, don't do this because I'm not going to do this when I go out. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, did it sound anything like this? No, it sounded more like. I think weird. mine's better. You probably. Well, again, was. well. Yeah, yeah, it's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, I think Lou won. You know what? You're not actually that good, Will. No, no I, I heard him I, do it. I never said I was good. You, you say boop a lot. I know. You, I like you gotta say other things besides boop. Wow. Well, he had like all kinds of different cool things. And well, boop a lot. That's because that's that's he's a. He's a trained professional. No, don't back off. You talk big about your scat. You've always said you can take down any singer in the planet with your scat. Mm -hmm. I did talk. I talked way too big. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See? Well, you know, when you've got somebody behind you like I have, I have this certain lady that right. is, whew, boy. Whoa, man. She is super fragilistic. Expedalicious. <laughs> man, you know? This is a scene where they talk about what is love in the movie. How would you define love? Do you really love the lamp, or are you just saying it because... Do you really love the lamp? Well... You really want to know what love is? What is this? Yes, tell us. You've sung about love a few times. A few times, yes. I've had a few <laughs> love songs in my life. Yeah. But what is love, really? It's a good question. We define it through song. We sing Afternoon Delight. Wow. <laughs> you don't seem too impressed, Lou. When everything's a little clearer in the light of day. You're kidding me. <laughs> Are you getting jealous now? You're actually doing a full part harmony? We're trying to. Wow. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Well. Well, we tried. <laughs> See? Uh-oh. Skyrockets in flight. Afternoon delight. Now maybe we're back on track. Boy, I got his knickers in a knot. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, that was our attempt to describe love. Uh-huh. What time of day was this? <laughs> was this... Uh, Wait, what, what's the craziest fist fight you ever witnessed? Craziest fist fight? Because I know you grew you, you Chicago and yeah. some right. tough you, you times. Did you ever see what's the craziest one you ever saw? 
Oh, well, let's see. We could start off with uh, one time I saw this girl punch this dude out. Really? And he was big. Yeah. Yeah, he was about almost, he was almost six feet tall and she was about four foot one. Whoa. And, uh, I mean, it happened so fast. Like, we were standing there saying, boy, that chick better be cool, man, because that's a big dude, you know? <laughs> and before we knew it, he was getting up off the ground. We said, whoa, what happened? <laughs> Do you remember, remember what place? Uh, where, where it was? Where it was? Yeah. It was on 63rd and Cottage Grove on the south side. Do you know where that is? Uh, I, know, I know I know Cottage he, Grove. He lived in Chicago for yeah, a while. Yeah, I lived in Chicago for about six yeah. years. Yeah. Really? Hey, we used know to, Cottage Grove? I, I've heard of, yeah. We used yeah. to go over to the south side to watch high school basketball all the time. That was mm -hmm. our big thing. Yeah. We'd go to Harold's Chicken and go see some games. Harold and, and Bells. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, so this 4'1 woman knocked out this six-foot dude? Yeah. And, you know, because he, he had been, you know, you know, shaking up and carrying on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she, so he deserved it. Yeah, well, yeah. She, she, she turned around and said, that's all right, you can keep on doing it if you want to. And before we knew it, he was on the ground. Whoa. She was, phew. We don't know where she hit him, but it must have been in the vital spots. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you know. Right. Right. Read something like this. I love That's cute. I think I wore some nice clothes in this movie. Yeah, your wardrobe designer was pretty hip. That's that's an out, that outfit. That's huh? an outside. That did, that looks like a nice little man, turtleneck. Yeah. Nice little anchor man outfit. <laughs> it's just tomorrow morning at nine instead of eight. Oh, almost forgot. I won't be able to make it, fellas. See? Veronica and I are trying this new fashion. Let me ask you something. Yeah. Why did you do the mustache thing? Well, we just. I've always wanted to grow a mustache. Really? Number one. And number two, it just kind of fit for the character. Uh, yeah. You. What do you think, Lou? Do you think it looks good, or...? Well... It kind of makes you... I don't know, it just doesn't, uh... More distinguished or less? Well, it has a distinguished look. Now, if you'd had sideburns a little longer, that would have, uh... I'm pretty good at reading people. It seems like you really like it. Hmm. <laughs> you, seem, you seem excited about it. Look at that mustache. Look at that's strange. Yeah. If we see you on stage with a mustache in the next year or two, you have to pay a finder's fee to Will. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, that's Are you something about I don't a know. No, you know, actually, when I was singing gospel music, I had a little. Yeah. It didn't have a full one. I just had one of those, you know, like a wisp. Oh yeah. Oh mustache. yeah. Right along the the. You know, just the right lip on here? the lip, yeah, yeah, yeah just yeah. on the lip, you know. See, the joke here is his sportscaster's uh, in love with him. They just had a few too many drinks and blurted it out. Oh. plays <laughs> out. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm gonna quit yeah. saying things when they crop up there. <laughs> See what it's like when... Awkward moment. You're not here. Yeah. Strange. Yeah. All his friends are a little freaked out because he's in love with the new lady. Oh. I've left the news team. We need you around. She's just using you. Oh. Just relax, all right? Believe me, if there's one thing Ron Burgundy knows, it's women. I don't know, Ron. Hmm. That's, you know, Veronica and I are going to get married. I don't know why, but I get a feeling like uh, it's Chevy Chase with a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Sure. You know? We had some bad reviews that said that. Really? So one or two, yeah. Is it Ted, Ted Baxter with a mustache? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ted. <laughs> who, who, were the, who were the newsmen in Chicago when you were there? Oh. Well, mostly. I remember. Uh, I don't really, because yeah. we never did watch television. Yeah. You know? Bill Curtis, if you remember? Because he narrated our movie. Yeah? Bill Curtis, yeah, he's from yeah. Chicago. Oh. I well, know we had, uh, was it mostly we were like into the radio thing. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Because you had uh, uh, Sid McCoy and the key fits you, you know, these radio, which is mostly R&B and jazz right. radio. And television wasn't that interesting. Yeah. Yeah. You know? 
I don't think it's going to succeed in television. Well, you know, when I was growing up there, we had one. We had one television in the neighborhood, and it was about a, about a what, a 20-inch screen, if that big. Yeah. So you figure it'd be maybe 25 or 30 people trying to watch that screen. That little <laughs> script, black and white. Right. You know, I never got a chance earlier, Will, to pitch mm. my new movie idea for you. You could see what Lou thinks of it as well. Mm. I what tried to it? tell you before, I've been trying to call Will for the past month. Right. Left about 80 messages on his machine. I guess his phone was busted. He didn't tell me this. But, yeah. Uh, mm. uh, but yeah, I'm excited about it. And uh, it's What's the idea? Basically, you're an Eskimo. And you have to come to New York City and kind of make your way through New York City as an Eskimo. Hmm. And sort of like, it's warm here, and you know. What? An Eskimo in New York City? Yeah, and that's I what the know. movie's called. It's called An Eskimo in New York yeah. City. Uh -huh. Well, that should be interesting. Lou likes it. That would, I don't, I don't think Lou said he liked it. I think he said well, it would be interesting. It would, but an Eskimo in New York City, that would be... Uh... So it's kind of a fish-out-of-water story. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. What time of year would it be, winter or in summer? It'd be like, it'd be winter. So it'd be cold, but not quite as cold as these. But you know what, actually, now that you say that, maybe it'd be funny to have it be summer, so it'd be hotter. Hmm. A lot of jokes are about temperature in it. Right. It's kind of similar to what the Elf movie was a little bit like. How so? No, no, you're an elf in that. That was like... Yeah, but I, I, I was, came from a cold climate in the North Pole. In this case, you're an Eskimo. You go to New York City and you get a job as a newscaster. Hmm. But that's, we already did that in this movie. And then you're, you're all your newscaster friends, and you decide to start a uh, fraternity again. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, well, you think that would work? I think it's... Do you want to go tomorrow and just sign it, get it done, and just set it up in development? Get some money? Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Mm. Lou, I mean, Lou Rawls, don't do this to well, me in front of Lou Rawls. If Lou tells me I should do it, I'll do it. But well, the thing is... Lou, I mean, just you know, please tell him he should do it. Well, uh, you know... Uh, I would say based on what I'm sitting here looking at right now, I guess that would... They have some giggles. You think so? Yeah, it might have some giggles, you think? So you I just should... said yes. Mm -hmm. Might have some giggles. You think it has really? some giggles, Will? Because, I mean, I'll be honest, I we don't... need the money pretty badly. My family and I, we've been eating dry oatmeal out of the box. Oh, really? Uh, well. Eggs, just raw eggs. Well, tap water. <clears throat> What's up, guys? Oh, Dave Keckner's with us. Yeah, hey, yeah. Dave. How are you, Dave? Hey, Dave? I just heard about this thing. How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Good to see you. Wow. Lou so Rawls. Lou Rawls is here. Lou. Wow. I'll Let's tell you what, a lot better now seeing you. All right. I might have an ally in the room. Right. He played uh, our sportscaster, Champ Kind. Did I? Oh, yeah? Oh, you know what? I'd... Here's the thing. I didn't know I was in the movie. Oh, really? Yeah, I thought it was in the movie. But when I saw the assemblage of the movie, I was barely in it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I don't know about that, man. You had some no, good moments in this movie. I had good moments uh, during the filming of the picture. Really? I thought, yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, mm. how's this doing for you, Will? Is this doing pretty well for you? It's, it's doing great. You get a nice bump off of it? What does that mean? I don't even know. I mean, it's helping your career, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, good. I'm mm. glad. I know it's helping Steve. I see that. Boy, he's really taking off. And uh, Paul, lighten it up. Yeah, I, well, What's up? I needed you know, this. Uh, I needed David, this. David, I, I think this is inappropriate. Oh, man, this is the commentary for the DVD. You yeah. see this mic's hanging over well, us you here. Know what? I came to talk to you guys. I came to have it out. All right. Oh, well. Dave, come on, man. No, 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 no. Trust me, you will regret this. This will Please. be on the commentary. This is being recorded right now. I Lou Rawls is here. Hey, hey you know, Lou Rawls is here. I respect Lou Rawls. Well, thank you very much. But you know, I've been seeing a lot of a lot of promotion and stuff. Yeah, man. Yeah, I wasn't in those ads. I've seen you. You on. are. You're in the. You're I'm in the print. Ad. Barely in the ads. You 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 see you on the outside there. I wasn't sure that was me. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. You have to see this, and I, I have to do my job as a director right now. So yeah. pardon the way I'm about to behave. Yeah, you know what? The reason it's cut out is because it, it didn't work. That's why. Bullshit! I'm supposed to put crap on the screen? I should have been in the editing room. I'm going to put crap on the screen just because you had it. You missed my it. Tooth just, uh, my tooth just fell out. <laughs> you made his tooth fall out. We're oh, lucky man. this thing made any money. Whoa. Yeah, well, you know what? You're lucky we put your mangy ass in here. We dragged you out of Missouri or whatever oh. crap hole you're from and put you in this. You brought me out here to make a fool of me. You're damn right we did, and we're laughing all the way to the back. Well, you've done it. Where's mine? 
Where's mine? Once again, Lou, well, I, 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 we apologize for this. Oh, that's okay. Wait, uh, this is getting interesting. I didn't do this in front of Lou Rawls. It's not right. See? I wanted to confront you. Well, you and I wanted to confront you. And you did. <laughs> you did. Okay. Listen, let's go back. We, we can't go back. No. We can go back. You don't do that, David. The movie's already out in the You don't do that. Let's reissue it. It happens all of the time. Maybe this is a gift for you. Maybe you, the, the career waning is a good thing. Spend more time with your kids. I am selling shoes on the street. <laughs> well, I don't even understand how that's a job. That makes no sense. I go to thrift stores and buy shoes. I jack up the price and sell them on the that street. That is a terrible business idea. I put my son <laughs> and my daughter right next to me. Lou, with you, a, don't a, to, a, you don't have to listen to a, any of this. A scary Where, is... dog, and we do very well. A scary dog? Well, it's a very thin dog. I don't feed the dog. I'm going to feed my kids. Uh -oh. Mr. Rawls, have you ever received an honorary doctorate from a college? Can we call you Dr. Rawls? Actually, yes, I have. Dr. Rawls is here. You don't behave you don't this behave way. In front of I Dr. apologize Rawls for Dr. Rawls. Well, wait, 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 wait. What? Hold up. Wait, no, no. He is a surgeon. No. If he wanted to, he could operate. No, isn't that what we No, no, not a surgeon. You know what? I wish he would do surgery on this film, go back and recut it, and put my stuff back in. Oh, see? What was this about? Oh, you wound up on the cutting room Oh, I'm all over oh, that floor. No, I'm not the only one. Oh. What is that? What, what is that? But I talk to other guys. Mm, oh. So everyone's getting together and getting bitter over Anchorman? It happens they might in be. movies. It happens. I don't know why. I thought, I thought, everything we ever did would wind up in this oh, picture. That's oh, ridiculous. That's delusional. Wow. It was inferred. That's delusional. Yes. <laughs> that why, why'd we shoot it? Why do we? So you thought when we did four takes of the same dialogue, all of them would be in the movie? Yes. Oh. I don't even. Yeah. See, Lou, even, even oh. Doctor Rawls. Even Doctor Rawls. That agrees uh, with us. I remember when. Lou. I, yeah. Yes. Go ahead. I remember when I cut my first album, you know, and that was before they got all the digital right. stuff. So I was in the editing room when they were doing the editing on the album, and I kept seeing the guy pulling. Zoop! He pull out about a foot of tape, and he'd take a razor and cut it. And I said. Whoa, man, what, you you know where you cut in the right place? <laughs> and I wound up, I must say, I was up to my ankles in tape. Oh, man. On the floor. Man, you thought I was, I was going to have a heart attack, man. See there? Said, Lou Rawls agrees with me. No, he doesn't. Oh, he doesn't? He doesn't. just said he did as much. No, but the thing of it was, uh, when the guy got through, he knew what he was doing. He knew what he was you know, doing. He put it exactly. That's yeah. what he's saying. I know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm not just... disagreeing with you about the fact that you own the cutting room floor, because I've been there. Lou is saying, and he's saying he wishes, deal with it. He's he, saying deal with it. He's saying he wishes the guy that cut his first album cut this movie. That's what he's saying. He's saying, do you have any brown loafers you got from the thrift store? Now get on with your life. <laughs> I yeah. do have some brown Go back loafers. Back with your mangy dog and your brown loafers. <laughs> How dare you? Oh man, man. I'm here in bare feet, coming to you. No, I can see that. Begging you to recut this movie. We're not going to do it. And re who do I have to talk? I'm clearly talking to the wrong people. Mm. I want what is mine. I want every take I did. You got every. There you are. You You're on the screen right now. Right there. I looked away. I looked back. Why am? Why am I not? In You're all set here. Why? Why you were we, hanging out by the monitor? We could have used the wide shot. I guess that's what I'm saying. We should have used all the wide shots. Oh, uh, this is. Mm. You just you're looking really desperate right now, I mean, and you're you looking like you don't know what Steven you're talking Spielberg about. If you want, I got a word for you, Adam McKay, rookie. <laughs> you do not call me a rookie. I just did. You do not call me a rookie. I hope the microphones well, picked it up. You are a rookie, what, Mr. Doctor Rawls. I once again, I hate that you have to see this. This is part of being a director. I will piss all over you, Ace. Wow. Um, you know what? That's... I'll enjoy it. Oh. Maybe we should capture that on film and broadcast it on the internet. I'm well, not going to do that. I'm going to get, get the original copy that. of this film, and I'm going to cut my own film, and I'm going to show it on the street when I'm selling my shoes and ask people, see, don't don't you think this should have been oh, a movie? Oh, that is a sad script you've written for yourself, my friend. That Ten years from now, I see you doing that. That is going to be ugly. Ten years from now, that's how they're going to show movies with men selling street shoots on shoes on the streets with their children and a mangy dog and a small projector, and that's how we'll watch films. <laughs> that is. That is how it will be done. You should you have I am going to start a revolution. Are you going to have uh, video cassettes? Yes. Oh. By the way, you can't see Dave right now. He is shirtless and has a giant oil stain across his chest. He looks absolutely deranged. I am prepping myself with my oil stain. Your nose is shattered, by the way. You've got actually a piece of bone you coming do. out of your broken nose. I got in a fight. You got duct tape over your nose. Here's look. Oh, I don't know, Dave Kector. Well, that scene, that's pretty good. I, I really enjoyed that scene, and I enjoyed working with Will on that scene. I think it was very effective, and there should have been more of that. Mm. 
I think we shot this on the last day, didn't we? This scene. Mm -hmm. You know what? From that day is the day we should have restarted. The last day. Oh, that's crazy. You're, you're, you're an idiot. Well, am I? Look right there on the screen and call me an idiot. Throw out 45 days of shooting and start with the last day. So, you know what? It's like rehearsing for a play. You guys ever heard of rehearsing for a play? Lou, when you go when you go to, to cut an album or a, a CD, right. I mean, do you, just, do you just go and do it, or do you rehearse for a while and then go well, lay it down? Well, you, you, you prepare. Okay. You know, but then... That's because you don't want to go in there and spend all your money on studio time. Thank you. You know. Thank you. Why? Thank you. He, he just he no way bolstered anything. He didn't bolster your point at all. He just agreed with me. Lou and I are the only ones in this room in sync. I'll tell you that. Well, you see, that's the deal. No, I think Lou thinks you're a jackass. Yeah, he does. Room. Yes. Don't put words in Lou's mouth. No, don't do that. I think General Rawls thinks you're a jackass. Oh, no, you know general. what? Hello. You become a general now. All right. Oh, Luke? did I say general? I don't, how does it, is he an honorary? Can you become a general? <laughs> he could. You know what? Hell, Lou, I'm, I'm glad you're here. You know what we ought to do? Right. You and I, um, it's what people want is a duet. Like an old blues oh, tune. No. I don't about want to our all. situation. Uh -oh. You know how you and I have been. It's gone from uh, scatting to low down, dirty. Gut bucket blues? Yep. <laughs> Low down dirty, gut bucket blues. I'm now on the street and I have to sell shoes because I was cut from this film. All my good stuff's on the floor. Oh, Lou. Take it, Lou. You don't have to. No. Yes, Lou and I were cut from this film. Actually, Lou, you do. You and do now they're to. trying to show us the oh. door. Yeah. Take it, Lou. You and I should have yes, been in this film have, together. We should have been in it together. We should have been in it together? We should have got it right. If we knew what we were doing, it would have been all right. Oh! Yeah. But these guys messed it up. Their names are Adam and Will. They messed it up. They messed it up. <laughs> Adam and Will shouldn't have even been a part of this experience. Oh, well, well yeah, that's... They, they had that was been, an amen. Fact, say yeah, he did not say. say amen. I was going to say, he if just they had been in it, it wouldn't have been a film at all. Thank oh! You, all right? He now agreed that's, with me. That's, I've got to go the other way. See? He well, he's saying it's not a film at all. Well, no, I didn't say that. It's a film. That's why we're sitting here. I I tell you what. I guess I guess I my position. Do I don't want to say that. Is the same as yours. That <laughs> it's not really a film, and I don't want to say it's a film. It's an assemblage of things that could have been something. I think that's where we're at, Lou. Well, it know, could have been something. The, 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 the shots that I see you in, you look, you know, you're pretty cool. All right, see? let me ask you this. See? You just said? You hear what he just said? Leave Lou. Not, leave Lou alone, you two. Get your hands not, off of you. You're not listening to. I. We're having a dialogue. So what you're saying, what I'm hearing you say is, when you see me on the screen, you enjoy it, Yes. ergo, you just want more of that. That's what mm. you're saying. Well, that can definitely be uh, cold from that see. conversation. Do you remember shooting this, Davey? Uh-huh. It was 102 degrees in a parking lot in Whoa. downtown Los Angeles. We shot this whole thing in one day. You yeah, know what? They, they look really cool. I mean, they, you know... On a dance in 102 degrees, full of dress. Hello. Huh? Whoops. Yeah. This is where they take it up a notch, Lou. Do you, do you know anything about taking it up a notch? Whoops. Yeah. It gets it gets serious. Oh, hey. Why did I get brass knuckles? I should have got it really good. Oh, come on, Dave. You know, something. Brass knuckles are pretty... Can't really swing that. What, is this the Battle of the Anchor Man? Yeah. 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 Oh. I guess I would have shot it a little differently, but we... It's okay. How so? How so? Yeah. There's a few things. You know... Wait. <sighs> this should have been the whole movie. Should he have was one in the big old battle. school with Will. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Luke Wilson. <sighs> and that guy over his right shoulder? Uh -huh. Drew Carey. Drew Carey. Yeah. <laughs> Drew Carey's brother, Len Carey. Len Carey. Who, you know what? Was cut from this film, too. Should have been more in the film. It's Tim in Robbins in his uh, Doctor Who wig. Yeah. Yep. The PBS anchor. We should redub some of this stuff right now. This is Spanish language news. <laughs> Why do they have more dudes in their gang than everybody else? I think that's just. It's a good point. It just happened. 
That's just uh, slightly lazy filmmaking. If you see when he comes up there, he actually mean? loses a couple guys. <laughs> 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 I'm glad Lou... Uh, I guess a couple of guys decided... <laughs> he disappeared. They get back over yeah. there. Yeah, we're starting to see the crease now, aren't we, Lou? What was that guy's name? Ken Stiller? Is that his name? Ken? I think it's... Ken, uh, Ken Stiller. There's Ken Stiller. Ben? I think it's Ken, Lou. Ken? I don't want to correct you, but... Ken Stiller. No, I think Lou's right. It's he Ken has Stiller. a look. Ken yeah. Stabler? No. That was the Oakland Raiders. Oh, right, 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 right. The snake right there. Ken Stiller. LSU? LSU. Yeah, they're going to throw down hard here. Have you ever seen a, an actual gang fight? Has anyone here ever seen a gang fight? I've been in several. Oh. Have you? Because <clears throat> this, they throw down hard here. Funny Paul fell that time. Oh, yeah. This yeah is, you can actually see Rudd fall this in the This is a very mess. realistic moment. The weird thing is we shot this as a joke, and then later we heard there were several bloody Anchorman rumbles that took place in the 70s. <laughs> and oh, Anchorman man. on fire. Yeah, this was actually way more realistic than we thought. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, where do, oh come on. Where did the horses come from? They my, had them. My son saw this movie and was really worried that we lost one of our, our guys. Oh. Really? About the net. Talking loudly oh, in the man. theater. Is that one of your Ow. guys? Oh. What happened to him? I said it's okay, because uh, the other guy threw a trident and got the guy in the heart. Oh, park. that's smart. Lou, that it happened. Quickly caught up. Yeah. It it, it ratcheted back the logic. Oh. <laughs> this kind of stuff you know, went that, down. Now that's realistic, though, because when you hear the sirens, boy, all of a sudden it just becomes as clean as a whistle. Yep. Yeah. That used to happen in Chicago. There'd be a bunch of dudes standing on the corner. That's Miller High Life, right there. Wrong brand. Oh. What would happen? There'd be dudes. <laughs> <laughs> be a bunch of dudes standing on the corner, and all they'd have to do is they'd have to, you know, a siren and just see the car come around the corner. And, and it'd be like yeah. a big wing go, yeah. <laughs> and they'd yeah. be gone. Uh, Mr. Rawls, Dr. Rawls, we want to thank you for joining us. Well, thank you very much. I don't know why I was here, but... <laughs> what do you think of the movie, just from what you saw? I mean... You think it's a train wreck, don't you? I think, no, actually, it's a... Uh, it's, uh, what can I say, interest, interesting scenario of... Uh, Movie making could have been a little care. better, though. I think that's what he said at the end. Could have been a little better. You know, uh, Timothy McCreary from the Wichita Times called it a, a masterpiece and a seminal work of uh, artistic movie making. <laughs> he said, uh, "He said, move over, uh, move over, Citizen Kane. You've got company." In the of Anchorman, yeah. That's uh, that's pretty good. Huh? Yeah. He also that's... said this. This is like a great Lou Rawls album. He did oh. at one point. Well, <clears throat> hello. He said the movie theater he saw it in, the speakers were broken, so Lou Rawls' music played the entire time they were watching the movie. <laughs> oh, really? And it made it ten times better. Right, and yeah. what was it? The song was You'll Never Find? Yeah. <laughs> Coulda, woulda, shoulda. <laughs> right. Good, good title. Good title. Well, thank you well, for joining us. Thank you, Lou. Thank you, guys. It. I appreciate the invitation to come in and uh, witness this. Big deal. I am very prepared. Okay. Why did you have a hard time thinking of the words you wanted to say? He was going to say debacle. I didn't want to say that. He was going to say he symposium. He wanted to say debacle. He was going to say intellectual symposium. He was going to say this train wreck, this say, mess. Well, this life-changing yes, piece this, of art. This would be something that they could use as a uh, way to become an anchor man. Yeah. So an instructional what, tape. In yes. A, a documentary on... That's, what, that's the way we feel. The life of Except an anchor David man. obviously feels differently. Well, I think what they're going to do is take this as a, as a, a puzzle. And they're going to give it to school children, and they're giving them all the assemblage, and go say, "Here, we know this isn't the best film it could have been. Why don't you put it together?" No, and those kids will put it together, it. and I will be back in the film. Right. School children. I'll be an anchor man. <laughs> oh, that's pathetic, hey, man. That is whammy, <laughs> whammy. All right. There, I said it. All right. Well, all I can well, tell you, uh, Dr. Rawls, is next time we do this, we will once again invite you back. Well, I would look forward to that. Oops. Yeah. Wow. I can't oh, wait yeah. till Lou and I uh, yeah. get in the, the recording special studio. Special effects are great. Do, Lou, do you think you and I probably do a duet, work something up? I like to sing. Wow. The old, the old typewriter to the head. Yep. Lou, next time you're in the studio, yeah. just give me a call. And he's, not, he's not even responding to you, Dave. We will put something together. Huh? Not even. Wow. He's not even. You know what? I, yeah. Lou's kind of digging this fight. Yeah. This uh -oh. was actually a well-articulated. Ooh, Mace. Jeez. 
Yeah, we could really make some Whoa. music. Mason Everett, she's very resourceful. Good stuff. Applegate kicks Will's ass. <laughs> oh, man. This must have been a lot of fun. Uh, it actually it was. was. I thought that fun would continue, but... Uh, Except for dealing with David, it Well, was should we fun. take a little uh, bathroom break? And right. uh, once again, Lou Rawls. Once again, An thank you very much pleasure. for the invitation. Thank you, Lou. Oh, Let's get in that studio. Treat. Hey, buddy. You and I. All right. Soon. Yeah, he just you said all right, Adam, you don't just have so to. you know. I don't have to. No. Actually, no, I didn't. Just, He's all right means control. like, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> in your dreams kind of thing. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> well, I think that went good. That was yeah. a treat. Yeah. Oh, man. I I kind of... It's Lou Rawls. That was yeah, intimidating. I got a little nervous. Uh, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I've had dinner with Kofi Annan from right. the uh, UN. I've, yeah. uh, I've spent weekends at... About six different presidents. A lot ranches. of impressive people. A lot of impressive yeah. people. I, I'm yeah. not, it's not even name dropping. I just have. No. You right. Know, uh, no, I know. And that's the most nervous I've ever been around anyone. Uh, we, yeah, it was. I mean, it was Lou Rawls sitting here. Yeah. You, know, you don't want to. I went on a bicycle trip with Norm Nixon, the former point guard from uh -huh. the Lakers, and I remember that being pretty kind tense. of a big deal for the yeah. first ten yeah. minutes on the bike. Oh, it's yeah. Norm Nixon. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hey, I wanted to. Uh, you know, we talked about the Eskimo movie, which you seemed jazzed about, which was cool, and Lou seemed to really like. No, I don't. Which well, was cool. I was it's fun to hear that excitement I don't in your voice. I, I don't think I seem jazz. If I did, anyway. It's just fun. It just reminds me of Tuesday nights right in SNL. Oh, you get yeah, that yeah, idea. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. It had that really fresh feeling to yeah. it. But I had another idea too, which is great for you because animated. You know, right. the Pixar stuff is really big, uh -huh. and uh, it's a story about a, a, a purple cyclops, and it's called right. Black. And uh, it's just about this cyclops that kind of falls in love with another uh -huh. cyclops, but you think she's a princess, and then. But it's just a whole anime. Yeah, it's like kind Shrek. Of, huh? It sounds exactly what you're pitching. I'm right. not gonna lie to you. It's it's somewhat a Shrek because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But this is this is different. This is black. You we, know, honestly, we might even just call it Shrek. Yeah, you can't do that. I think you I can. Mean, unless you were gonna change the spelling of the title, but then they probably. Would. I wouldn't want to do that because I want people yeah. to think it was Shrek. Yeah, you're not gonna. They're, I, they're gonna sue you. I they say take allow... us to court then. You know, while they're taking us to court, we're making three hundred million dollars. Okay, well. Regardless, I don't even know why I'm arguing with you. I'm not going to do it. It's it's a really just a copy and kind of a stupid idea. So. You know what? You might be right. Let's just stick with Eskimo in New York. Yeah, I'm not doing Eskimo in New York, by the way. Even if you thought Lou Rawls liked it or whatever. By the way, did you get nervous? I, I was afraid he was going to notice that there aren't any black people in the movie. I don't think you noticed. I, I think Rudd comes off as African American. Mm -hmm. I think he thought Rudd was black. Well, I've always kind of thought that. In fact, I think Rudd might even be black Art, and yeah. doesn't kind of yeah. deal with it but you know he also knows that was a white world you know and it's the whole point is that it was white men yeah you know it was uh in fact i don't want to tell you that but on yeah. the way out he was like he said to me he pulled me yeah. aside and he's like you know adam mckay i gotta tell you you really nailed that whole era you really you really showed a pivotal point in our history and wow he's like you got your friend over there making the funny faces to get the people laughing but you really did the work and it was just a little moment. I was like, you know, coming from Lou Rawls, that's so cool. And it was just great. It was in the hallway. It was kind of tight yeah. in there, and he just kind of whispered in my ear. He's like, I'm Lou Rawls, and as far as I'm concerned, you're a pretty cool guy, Adam McKay. He kept... you. And he said, you know... You kept using both your names? He's like, you're a pretty cool guy, Adam McKay. I mean it. Anytime you want to hang with me. He's like, you know, you got your buddy over there making funny faces and fart sounds. That'll get him laughing to get the people in, but you're the one with the real. He said, he, "You know what he said to me? He said you got a deep soul, Adam hmm. McKay." And he gave me like a little mini neck rub. He's like, "Yeah, because I, I, the only thing is, I've been with you. I was with you the whole time you were with Lou. So I don't know when that exchange could have taken place." Hmm. Uh, I mean, if he did say that, great. That's that's. Well, fine. that's the cool thing is there's no argument because he did. So it's like you know, logically, what you say kind of makes sense, I guess. But he did say it. So. No, it's good for you. That's so great. You what, a, what a cool moment. Really cool moment. Really cool moment. And he said, you know, and your buddy in there in the movie, The Dwarf, uh, and I said, no, no, The Elf. He's like, he really makes some funny faces. Yeah. And he must have a weird muscle, extra muscle in his face that makes his face look that funny. And he said, but you're, you're, he said, you're one, you're a heavy dude. He said, you've got an old soul. Right. He said, you remind me of a philosopher blues king like Robert Johnson or something. He actually said that? Yeah. That's great. That's was, an amazing thing. It was great. What, was, what, what a special moment. And then he said, good luck with Eskimo in New York. He said, that's, that's really going to be something special. 
He said, I got a little glit in my eye like I was 15 again when I heard that idea. It just felt fresh to me. I don't know how many times I have to tell you this, but I'm not doing Eskimo in New York. You know what? We'll set it up, put it in development, write the script, go into pre-production, and then you see how you feel. I, mean, I think that's the best way to play it. You know what? We should go back to doing the commentary. I think they, right. roll, they started right. rolling again. This um, is... What is this? Oh, this was... Uh, this is part of Ron Burgundy's down and out sequence here. and uh, Little it? known fact, it was shot down in San Pedro. That's right. Yeah. That's yeah. right. We made the trek. Yeah. And I think Shira... Did your wife Shira come down that day to visit the set? She did. She's uh, with my baby daughter. Oh, yeah. They come up to you, and uh, she's the one who says, you are truly a disappointment oh, yeah. to us all, Mr. Burgundy. Which but I think it, was, we... it was always great when Shira would come by the set. Yeah, well, it's she's fun. So it's, and, and Lily, and it's just great to have my family there, you know? She's just great. She's great. Thanks, man. She likes you, too. Um, it's Fred Willard again. Oh, God, he's good. What? How long, how long have you known Shira? We've been married for five years. We've lived together for a couple years. I gotta tell you, she's not... She's put together pretty nice, you know what I mean? I like the way she's put together. <laughs> okay, stop though. My wife. But I, cause I, we've never had a frank conversation about Shira, but uh... I think we've had plenty of frank. She's my wife, she, I love her. And... She is your wife, and she is hot. Okay. It makes me uncomfortable when you talk about her like that. So because no, I don't mean to. I'm just. Well, it just saying... seems like you're sexualizing her, and it's my wife. No, 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 no. In a total, I'm not trying to do that at all. Um, you know, but I do like the way she moves. You know. Oh, hey, stop it! Just stop it! Don't even talk about her. It's my wife. I I realize that, and that's why I'm expressing. You know. Go Seth Rogen from uh, Freaks and Geeks. That's right. Was Shira in the, the shot? No. Mm -mm. She should have been. Yeah. In like a bikini or something. That would have been nice. Why don't we... Should we stop or something? Stop what? I'm gonna... I, I'm, I'm really gonna give you a little rap in the face if you, if you keep doing this. Just a little knock right in the grill. Look. If you wanna keep this up. It's my wife. Alright? Fine. You don't have to get so touchy. She's a human being, you know? She, she probably likes it compliments. She'd like a compliment like she's an attractive lady. Which she is. She's Well, there you go. You stop right that. there. Okay. Stop right there. She's Don't say like anything else. Dripping in honey. You know what I mean? How would you like it if I talked about your wife like that? If I said, mmm, your wife's a nice big old slice of heaven. I would love it. I would love it. That, just, that would just reinforce the fact that I made a right choice in the mating department. Oh, okay. So just overall, you're gross. I thought it was like specifically about my wife. But overall, you have some issues about the How, way you view women. Do you guys get it on a lot? You like getting it on? So this is uh, this is with uh, Danny Trejo, right? The bartender. Do you like to get it on? There he is. This people always took this scene as kind of serious. They would be kind of quiet in the theater, and it actually makes me laugh about as hard as anything in the movie. Do you do sh do you do shoulder rubs? <coughs> Stop it! Stop I it! Stop it! It's my family, all right? Jeez. What? There's not many things that are going to bother me, but that's Ever. one of them. That's right high up on the list. Whatever. You want to be weird about my wife or my daughter, then that's that's what. That's about it. It's a short list. I didn't know I was hanging out with Jerry Falwell. You that's know? just rid that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. The moral majority. You don't know how to behave right, and and you act like I'm uptight. I don't. I asked you. I asked you eight times, nice and calm. Eight times. Stop talking about my wife like that. Even if I, I took that to mean you wanted me to keep that you enjoyed it, you're enjoying the attention that your wife's getting. Subsequently, you're getting that same attention. I thought that meant you wanted me to keep. I don't. That doesn't make any sense. How how would you possibly confuse what I said with keep it up? Please stop. I said. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah. Anyway. There's Chris Parnell. This is actually, uh, did you talk about the set that was built? This is actually this whole, whole set was built in the, basically in the middle of the park, nothing there at all. And they, they built this set in like two days, an entire zoo, basically. And they used uh, a construction team of hot, scantily clad ladies. Well, I mean... Didn't they? No. Guess who the foreman was? 
I swear to God, if you say my wife, I'm gonna fucking, uh, I'm gonna freaking pounce on you. Guess, just guess who the foreman was of the hot ladies. Uh, her name was, I don't know, Sharon uh, Wilson. Close. If you say my wife, I, I am. I'm gonna, I'm gonna all really hurt you. I'm gonna crack your faceplate. You say it's my wife. What? My nose is already badly. I know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pulverized. Lace both my fingers together and with a double fist, crack your faceplate. If you say my wife. This is a uh, quite an emotional moment. This is uh, for Ron Burgundy as he gets invited back to join had, the news team. I remember you had to get your sense memory going on this. We had to clear the set. This was tough for you, wasn't it? Yeah. You were drawing on some painful memories of your father and and my uh, my guardian. Hello. My guardian Will? Gary. Hello. Uh, Will. Hello? Yeah. Adam? Who is that? Who is this? It's Christina. Oh, Christina! Oh, hey, Christina! Guys, how, how are you doing? What's well, up? I'm good. I just am a little. I'm a little surprised you're doing the uh, commentary without without me there. Oh. oh. Um, crappy. It's, that's kind of crappy. You know what though? Oh. I mean. It's not really like that. It's it's been pretty. It's really just been us. I mean, the only it's been us and Lou Rawls and Andy Richter Lou, and Dave Keckner, and Lou that's Rawls. really. Lou Rawls. Yeah. Movie? What does he have to do with the movie? He's Lou Rawls, though. It, it was just a great opportunity to sit down with him and f finally get a lot of questions answered. Just kind of thought it was like an imp important aspect to the to the filmmaking. Oh, no one's so. no one's saying you weren't. People wanted to maybe hear what my you know thoughts on everything were, but you know whatever. No, Christina, that, it's that's definitely the case. I mean, I didn't even know you guys were doing this. Like my neighbor just told me you guys were doing this. Oh yeah, Dan, your neighbor. Dan, your neighbor's a sweetheart. He's a sweetheart. It's weird. He came by earlier. Did no. Because I know that we had sent uh, a messenger over. No, there was no. With like a handwritten no note that said we may do it today. No, I think. Oh, I'll, I'll loan up. That's. Th it's it's cool. I mean, I'm look. <laughs> I've, been, I've I've been around for a long time. You know, I didn't just like fall off the. You know. The. No, you're a complete and total professional. Vegetables. You know what I'm saying? Like the vegetable truck. I didn't just. Turnip truck. Yeah, I turnip mean, truck. Yeah, whatever you call it. Turnip. It's not whatever. It's a turnip truck, is the way the phrase goes. I don't know. I'm from California. You're from where? Midwest somewhere? No, Philadelphia. We do it differently here. But anyway, I, you know. Guys, please. It's just, it's the same thing, you know, because I'm a girl. Because I'm a girl. Truck. And girls aren't funny, and girls have no opinion, and they have no point of view, and, you know, they're just there to, like, you know, have their boobs out or something, you know, right? Is that, that's what it is. Well, no. You, I mean, that is a function for sure. I mean, you're an attractive woman, Christine. You shouldn't deny that. But that's not all you are, of course. No, I mean, I, it seems like it's all I am to you guys, but that's okay. Is, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm invited to the DVD commentaries, like, on, on every movie that I'm in. Like, right. Whether or not I had a speaking role or not, like, just because... You know, can we be honest? Uh, from the commentaries I've heard, it just seems, uh, like, a little bit like a man's world. Like, I'm a little hurt. <laughs> the deeper voice resonates better against the movie. Right. It's, it's more a technical issue than it is, like, who's in the movie, who's not. Bull crap. I know, I know exactly what it is. Uh, oh, look, Christina. Oh. You know, like, it's cool. You guys, it's fine. I mean, like, two months of this. I had two months of ridicule and, you know, but... No, it got hard. That's what we were talking about earlier. I mean, I've, I've studied acting for my whole life, you know. I'm a real actor. I saw a bunch of movies before I directed this, Christina, so I put my time in, too. And, I mean, I, I just want you to know that Ooh, we... Rolls. It's Christina. It's Lou Rawls. It's Lou Rawls. And Dave Keckner. I mean, well, Keckner's there. Yeah, Keckner came by. And Kyle Gass and, and Andy Richter, Paul Rudd. Andy Richter. Yeah. Yeah. What? He, not... he was mad because we didn't cast yeah, him. Yeah, he was. Boy, they they unloaded on us. Every all these people there, and you guys didn't call me. And your neighbor Dan came by. And we talked to your mother briefly. She came by. She was real sweet. We hadn't had time to sit down with her. Wow. Interesting. But those are just things that just happened kind of in the ether. Oh. Yeah, Christina, they I mean... They weren't premeditated. Yeah, it is, you know. You yell cut, it's a wrap, and, you know, you just kind of... You just throw me off. Just throw me off into, like, nothingness. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not... Uh, alone. That... With, my, with my dog and, and me, and that's, that's it, you know? Like, I just feel really... Like you guys just like left me out here to like to dry. And, that's and, that's a bit melodramatic, Chris. Come on. They left me out to um, in the grass. Wait, Christina, I hate to interrupt, but 
the these bears were real bears. Real, actual real bears. And look, I mean, that's... That's a Kodiak. That's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I, I almost got... But I'm sorry, Christine, what were you saying? Yeah, I got almost... Was, was, those bears were, were really scary, you guys. And you know, we already got that covered, Christine. It was fair that I had to work with the real bears and you guys got to work with, like, guys in bear suits, you know? Cause that was well, just the scheduling thing. <laughs> yeah. The so bears... want to... The bears were tired... They would get cranky later in the day when Will would work, and they were fresher when you would come in. No, I think this is like, you know, it'd be funny if, like, the chick gets killed by the bear, and then we get it on film, and then we put it in there, and you get, like, you know, oh. a whole other audience. Christina, is what I, think I did not know you heard, I did not know you heard that conversation. That way, yeah. yeah well. That was a private conversation I had with one of the producers. I had no idea you were listening. Yeah, well, there well. was That was taped, actually, though, Adam. And was submitted, it? You had it submitted on a... On a you had it burned on a CD and passed out to everyone. Oh, I forgot I did that. That's right. Christina, I don't know how Look, to make this right. I really don't. I, I can offer a few things. I mean, if we're I... We're already arranging to have a fruit basket sent over. I can also send over an envelope with about six $20 I'm bills in it. I'm fruit, people. I just need a little respect. R-E-S-P-C-T, you know? It's my motto, and if you don't want to live by it, then... Like, no, you have it tattooed on your back. We know it's your motto. And uh, that's what, that's what, then, no you know, pun intended, that's what we respect about you. Now go walk out the door. Because you know what? Guess what, guys? You're not welcome anymore. That's, that's how I'm feeling today. Oh, no, Christina, don't. Don't. I mean, the way I feel is, you know, convoy. We, uh, got, a, we got a big old convoy trucking on down the line. We got a big old convoy. Ain't she a beautiful sight? I mean, that's just where we're coming from. You know what I have to say that to that, to all of that is okay. Forget. <laughs> <laughs> um, Christine, we just want to make this right with you. We just I mean, want to that's... make it right. I want I want two million dollars. Oh no! Come oh, on. Oh jeez. I'll give you a hundred. Ridiculous. Huh? How much this movie made? One hundred and twenty dollars. I want two million dollars in cash. One hundred and eighty dollars. In ones. No, I don't. One hundred and eighty dollars. No. That's that's a Look, lot of money, Christina. You don't give get. Give me two million dollars. I'll stop. I'll stop harassing you. What? It... All right. I'll stop leaving the dead fish on on your doorstep. Oh, that was you. Yeah. yeah. Adam's Adam's stepkid Ryan has a mobile dog grooming grooming service, mm -hmm. and he has these vans that can show up at your house anytime. We want to on the house. We want to give uh, your 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 dog a, a a free grooming. No, I want two million dollars. How about I send Ryan by and we make your dog look all nice and pretty? And you never call or talk to us again. Done. Done deal. Oh, that's nice. Oh my god, I can't believe we got away. I was very close to giving you the two million. No, I want it anyway. <laughs> I'm so glad. Ryan is gonna take care take care of your pooch. What's your dog's name again? Not good. I'm not telling you her name. Bongo? Yeah, Bongo. Doctor Bongo? Bongo jeans. Bongo jeans. But thanks guys. That that makes it better. That's all we wanted to do, Christine. We just wanted to heal wounds. Appreciate that. You guys are great. A lot of wounds. This was not a pleasant shoot. Everyone knows yeah. it. No, it wasn't. Yeah, a lot of wounds. A lot of, you know? a lot of tears staining the ground of our shooting floor. Yeah, and, and, and staining other, you know, things, things too, like chairs and stuff, too. Yeah, yeah. Not just the ground, but... A lot of bodily fluids staining a lot of objects during the shoot. That was, you know... I have a problem with my bladder, and that's not, you know, it's not funny to talk about it, man. It's not at all funny. No, no, no. It's Go a personal right thing, and it's very personal. You're uh, right now. We're watching the screen, and uh, Will is uh, doing his final sign off the panda story. It's a very emotional scene. I remember, you remember I shooting it. I didn't like that scene too much. No offense, Will, but I just didn't think it was really, you know, it wasn't like groundbreaking or anything. It's sort of whatever. Well, it's sort of supposed to be a reference to typical third act ending. I mean, it wasn't supposed to be groundbreaking. <sighs> oh, mm. Mm. man. It wasn't my favorite. That's just. You're going to take shots at the film on the commentary? Well, if I was there, I mean, it would be different. But since I can't really see it, because I'm here at home, like, on the phone, you know? Right. Like, I can't see. Well, I mean, wait, you know? I mean, I think it's only fair, Adam, for you and I to give Miss Applegate the floor here. And to... All right. I mean, I, th I think we just... For All right. the rest of the time, All right. All right. let Christina get off anything, any cons you know, anything she has on her. All right, here's the deal, chest. Christina. We're gonna lay it down real clean and simple. Any stories she wants to tell? Ryan's not coming to your house to groom your dog. That's off the table now. But you get, we give you the floor here, the commentary, uh -huh. all yours, for the remainder of the movie, 
Say whatever you want to say, any kind of story. We stay completely out of your way. But Ryan does not come. My stepson does not come to groom your dog. I repeat, Ryan does not come with his van. Oh, no. So uh, I can say whatever I want. You can say whatever you want once we say that the floor is clear. It's all Christina Applegate time. That's it. Okay. No Bill okay. Farrell, no Alan McKay, just Christina Applegate. Okay. So go ahead, Miss Christina Applegate. Anchorman, the legend of Ron Burgundy, a film commenting on the political That's agendas. it, the movie's over. Yeah. We got, sorry, Christina. Oh, yeah, gotcha. That's low rent, Missy. Do you hear what I said? I'm outie. That is low rent, Missy. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> that's, that's the deal. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Christina Applegate. I love you guys, too. I mean, with the... With all the agreements we had, you know. <laughs> From all of us here at the World News Center, I'm Veronica Corningstone. And I'm Ron Burgundy. You stay classy, planet Earth. Carry on my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are done. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no more. <gasps> oh! Great Odin's Raven! Oh, by the hammer of Thor! Saint Damien's beard! Sweet grandmother's spatula! Hot pot of coffee! Uncle Jonathan's corncob pipe! I'm gonna shoot you with a BB gun when you're not looking. In the back of the head. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> You're not very bright, you know that, right? You're actually quite a dullard. Mm. In fact, well, everyone if... here knows it. <laughs> well, if I'm a dullard, you're the... Uh, the dullard oh. uncle. Can't think of anything to say now, can you? Yes, I can. <laughs> I can think of a lot of things to say, like... You're a dirty bitch. Well, Ron... I'm gonna put poison... <laughs> <laughs> I drank a lava lamp. It wasn't lava. I ate a whole bunch of fiberglass insulation. It wasn't cotton candy like that guy said. My stomach's itchy. I pooped a hammer. I pooped a tape recorder. I pooped a Cornish game head. Uh. <laughs> nope. You do not take a tone with me because I will give you a rap right on the Jack Johnson. Okay. Yes. Now this is happening. What are you doing? What? Ah! What are you doing? What are you? I guess we'll go back to doing what I do best. I guess we'll go back to doing what I do best. Show off. When do we get started? When do we get started? That's my line. When do we get started? That's my line. You oh. say whenever, whenever you like. Whenever you like. <laughs> That's all right. Keep it rolling. Okay. This is good stuff. Yeah, I like this. Area uh, Brick, before I let you go, uh, are you still having your celebrity golf tournament this summer? No, no, too many people died last year, so we're not gonna do it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. They named it San Diego, which in German means a whale's vagina. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most ridiculous thing ever. <laughs>
Way to handle nice it, Ron. Ron. That was well, nice. it sure is good to be number one. Yeah, well, it sure beats the hell out of number two. <laughs> we are laughing. <laughs> and we are very good friends. <laughs> good buddies sharing a special moment. Yeah, yeah. Don't say anything wrong. You know, just let it happen. <laughs> <laughs> laughing and enjoying our friendship. And someday we'll look back on this with much fondness. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <sighs>